2020 was equal mathematics. Paper 2, question 9. A. Two points, X and Y, 7 meters apart, are on the same horizontal ground. The angle of elevation of a point, P, from X and Y are 50 degrees and 70 degrees respectively. Q is a point on XY produced such that angle YQP equals 90 degrees. I illustrate the information in a diagram. II calculate correct to two decimal places the length alpha of line xp beta of line yq i requires the illustration of the information in a diagram so we will draw our diagram neatly and present the information correctly and nicely on it such that the two points x and y will be seven meters apart on the same horizontal ground the angle of elevation of the point p from x and y will be 50 degrees and 70 degrees respectively a point q will be produced on x y such that angle y q p was will be 90 degrees so we we have illustrated the information in a diagram. I, I, alpha. The question is asking us to calculate for the length of line XP. So we will find angle XYP. And since angle XYP and angle PYQ are supplementary because they are formed on the straight line, we can state that angle XYP equals 180 degrees minus 70 degrees, which will give us 110 degrees. From triangle PXY, we know angle PXY as 50 degrees which was stated in the question and we have solved for angle XYP as 110 degrees so we need angle XPY but the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so we can state that angle XPY equals 180 degrees minus bracket to pin 110 degrees which is angle xyp plus 50 degrees which is angle pxy which will give us 20 degrees so we have angle xpy equals 20 degrees now we know all the three interior angles of triangle pxy but triangle PXY is not a right angled triangle. So we will apply the sign rule. We will have 7 meters, which is 7, over sine the opposite angle, which is 20 degrees. So we have 7 over sine 20 degrees equals the length of line XP over sine the opposite angle which is 110 degrees so calculating for line xp you have line xp equals 19.2336 meters but the question asks us to leave our answer in two decimal places so you have line xp the length of line xp 
equals 19.23 meters in two decimal places. I, I. Beta. The question asks us to find the length of line YQ. But from triangle PSQ, it is a right angled triangle. We know angle PSQ. We have calculated for the length of line XP. So we can find the length of line XQ. So we can state that cos theta is equal to the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse side which will give us cos 50 degrees is equal to the length of the adjacent side is line sq over the length of the hypotenuse side which has been calculated for as 19.23 so solving for line SQ, we have line SQ equals 19.23 cos 50 degrees, which will give us 12.36 meters in two decimal places. But the question asks us to find line YQ. But line SQ is equal to line XY plus line YQ. So to make line YQ the subject, you have line YQ equals line SQ minus line XY, which will give us line YQ equals 12.36 meters minus 7 meters, which will give us line YQ equals 5.36 meters in two decimal places. B. Solve the equation a fraction with numerator 3x and denominator 1 minus x plus a fraction with numerator 2x and denominator x plus 1 equals 2. We need to multiply each expression by the LCM. And the LCM is 1 minus x in bracket, multiplying x plus 1 in bracket. So we will have 3x multiplying x plus 1, plus 2x multiplying 1 minus x, equals 2, multiplying 1 minus x in bracket, multiplying x plus 1 in bracket. So expanding this expression will give us 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. And we need to factorize this quadratic equation, which will give us 3x minus 1 in bracket and x plus 2 in bracket equals 0. So x is equal to minus 1 over 3 and x is equal to positive 2.